On a prime location in prestigious Bird Key is a grand estate called the Isle of View, an architecturally distinctive home that sits perched at the end of a quiet street. We wanted it to be majestic. We are 14 feet above sea level and there are only four steps to get into the house. So we bermed so that it is palatial, if you will. And it's a Spanish Mediterranean style with uh, huge Corinthian columns. Guests are greeted by a bubbling three-tiered bronze fountain in the paved drive that it's onto the stunning grand portico entrance through the majestic double glass and wrought iron doors and into this grand home. The double-storied great room with its floor-to-ceiling windows overlooking Sarasota Bay is one of the first impressions you get. It's breathtaking and, and they don't realize from the front how majestic the view is. It's probably the best location for this best view in certainly all of Bird Key and Sarasota as well. The home was designed around this great room. We've set up this room as a great room instead of separate formal living room and family room because we felt that the room that had the best view should be the one that everyone gets to enjoy all the time. The great room has an imported marble fireplace, an expansive wet bar that's both inside and out, and onyx inlaid flooring throughout the home. There are several dining areas on the main floor, the perfect setting for elegant entertaining, intimate gatherings, and large family get-togethers. It all opens onto 2,000 square feet of outdoor terraces and patios. The same flooring used inside carries to the outside areas. There's an outdoor kitchen, and the indoor kitchen was designed for the chef. The kitchen is um, a gourmet's delight. It has two of everything. Um, two ovens, two microwaves, two ice makers, one makes shaved ice, and the granite countertop in the center island was so huge it took eight men to bring it in. It's one solid slab. The home office is off the kitchen. The office has uh, herringbone wooden flooring and wood ceiling, um, burled wood, library shelves, uh, lateral file drawers, matching leather-topped, burled wood, custom-made desk uh, out of the same wood as the library shelves. The library shelves also have a ladder that rolls so you can reach everything. There are two ways to get upstairs or down. Over on that side of the home there is an elevator that stops on three levels. Uh, down in the garage, which is four steps down, then up on the main living level and then upstairs as well as the spiral staircase. The home office has everything for the busy executive, but can also be used as a bedroom. The other bedroom on the main living floor of this home is the master retreat, with cool color tones and accents of Venetian plaster. The master suite being downstairs makes it so convenient. It's, um, it's got a vestibule, um, huge bedroom with um, push button controls for every light in the entire house. You can turn out all the lights by pushing one button. You can close the drapes or open the drapes that black out the room totally so you can sleep in the middle of the day by pushing a button right by the bed on either side of the bed. Then the master bathroom has uh, his and her showers plus a rain shower, his and her water closets, his and her vanities. Many of the entertainment areas are upstairs, including a 10-seat state-of-the-art theater with twinkling lights to mimic a starlit sky above, and a landing that is a fully stocked game area with space for playing cards, pool, or even ping pong. And the centerpiece, this bar. There's a boat that was a 1954 Chris Craft Woody that's been converted into a bar with a refrigerator, ice maker, dishwasher, and sink. In, in the boat. Quite a conversation piece. Three other bedroom suites upstairs offer convenience and luxury for family and guests. Also upstairs, another master suite with a spacious and luxurious master bath. This home was designed by the current owners to be the home they spent the rest of their lives in, so no expense was spared, but they also designed it to be a happy home. That it is for pure enjoyment for 
as many family and friends as you can gather because it's to make memories. Special attention was also paid outside to capture the views of the pool area and Sarasota Bay. We felt that it was most important to be able to see the pool even if we weren't in it. So we worked very hard to um, elevate the patio and the pool 14 feet above the seawall and that way it provides a vanishing edge that it actually looks as though it's pouring into the bay. Two life-sized bronze lions guard the pool. Boaters passing by on the bay can even appreciate them. And because of its location, this home offers unique sunset views. When the sun is setting in the west, if you are looking east, you don't have the glare of the sun in your eyes. You have the reflection of the sun off of the glass on the buildings in the city as the city lights come on and some of the buildings occasionally will look as though they're on fire. They're so vivid and bright. All with the tranquil waters of Sarasota Bay as the backdrop. This home has a substantial presence on the bay. Most homes on this island are about 100 feet wide and this one is 300 feet of wraparound seawall so that if you have a yacht of any length we can accommodate the largest yacht able to navigate these waters, you still have your view unimpeded by a big boat. The Isle of View. Say it fast and you may hear, I love you. A home created for elegance, to capture the water views and to create a place of delight. We're very proud of it and uh, it's just been a joy to live here. This home has five bedrooms, five bathrooms, and two half baths. It encompasses more than 7,800 square feet. It's one of the fourth largest homes on Bird Key and the newest in that elite category. It was originally listed for $14.9 million and after several price reductions is now offered for $9,490,000. The furnishings are available under a separate contract. For more information, contact Cindy Tippetts at Signature Investment Properties Incorporated.